Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm a little embarrassed about today's video <laughs> because I am staring at a lot of packages. Now, today is a small shop haul and I've gone a little crazy recently. I have a lot to share with you guys. I will, however, say <laughs> that a lot of places I would was able to catch some really good sales. I have some washi tape from Amanda Michelle. She was having, I think a 25% off sale. I have not purchased washi tape in months. So I do have some washi, I have some trays, I have some minders, I think I have a pen, I have some special drills. <laughs> so I have a lot to share with you guys. So I've been accumulating, I've been collecting. Um, I know I don't need to justify myself, but there are times where even I'm like, whoa, Laura, this is a little bit too much. So this is a little bit too much. So if you do not see a small shop haul from me for a bit, this is why, because I just picked up quite a few things. So let's go ahead and start with, what do I want to start with? Uh, I think we'll start with some washi tape. I have not shown washi tape on my channel in quite a while um, because I did a very large haul from Amanda Michelle during, I think it was her Black Friday sale. She did like a 50% off for email subscribers. And I went ham and I picked up so many tapes that I was like, you do not need washi for quite a while. And here it is, April, and I just placed my first order. So look at me go. Um, I have lined up some kits recently that I knew I didn't have washi that I thought would match perfectly. So I was kind of on a hunt um, for a few specific tapes. And then I just love the tapes that she stocks. She has amazing taste in washi tape. Um, so I went through her new arrival section and here we are. We have a nice little package full of washi tape. I always love how these items come packaged. I love the tissue paper. All right, so there is quite a few. I don't remember exactly how many tapes I have here, um, but we have a wide variety. We have a little freebie pack here with some little stickers, just some little ephemera and journaling items. And then we have all the good stuff. We also have a lollipop. All right, I'm just gonna show you guys random things. I have a few super thin ones, and then I just have some other pretty tapes. So here are the first two these cute little thin tapes. You guys know, if you've seen me kit up before, that I always put a thin washi tape down on my containers um, and then I lay my label on top and it just makes it super easy to get the labels up when it's time. I think I'm just gonna grab and just show you guys a few at a time. I picked up, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, <clears throat> a lot of florals. So we have some florals here and then some little cat I think these are cats hanging from a clothesline. Little kitties and sweaters. Oh, there are some Easter tapes in here. Oh man, that's okay. That's my fault. Some more florals. Um, little cherry blossoms. I'm still waiting for Petals Fall, I think is what it's called, from Uni Arts to come back in stock. Oh, a freebie. Um, I think it came back in stock while I was on my no buy and I was devastated because I really wanted it. Um, and when I came back off of my no buy, it was gone again. So I have kind of been collecting little accessories for that kit. And I thought that this cherry blossom washi tape would be perfect. We have a few more florals and then a kitty. The Poppy tape, I just shared that Poppy kit from Dye Moon Shop. I picked up a couple of different tapes with Poppy flowers um, so that I could match which one I liked best. Here's the two little Easter tapes that will have to hang out. They'll have to wait until next Easter, but that's okay. I thought they were too cute to pass up. Here's another one of those Poppy tapes, some more florals. We've got these little 
silver foil hearts. Almost done. I love the foil tapes that Amanda Michelle stocks. Lots of florals. Again, you can tell we're getting into spring and summer. I feel like florals are just so neutral um, if they're done right. A few more. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's little butterflies. Hope you guys can see that with like a rose gold. Oh, I love that one. Some more florals. This one is for my planner. <laughs> it has little pencils and washi tapes and pens. And then I have a little sunflower. We have some, I don't, I wonder why this one came in this really pretty bag, but some little blue flowers. And then we have a little freebie, which is really pretty with that gold foil. So that is my, <laughs> my washi tape haul. I know there's a lot of, ro of rolls, but I use a lot of washi tape. I keep a physical planner for my content. So for Diamond Paintings by Laura for both my Instagram and my YouTube, I have a physical planner. I have a physical planner for my daily life. I use washi tape on all of my kits. So I do go through quite a bit and I like to have a variety to be matchy matchy as I do. So highly recommend checking out Amanda Michelle Designs if you have not. Uh, especially when she has her sales. Some of those tapes I got for like a dollar. So definitely check that out if you're interested. All right, let's take a look at, let's go for this one. Who is this from? Okay, so this is a package from Nix's Notions. I am a big fan of their putty. And I think that they were having a sale and I decided to pick up some of their newer scents. I really, really enjoy um, their putty. Looks like I picked up five. I'm checking out my invoice. And I got free shipping. Yay, very cool. All right, let's take a look. So this is our little freebie. They're very generous with their freebies. I think last time I got a tray as a freebie, so we love that. Ooh, Mentos, oh my gosh. All right, so we have some washi tape. We have a business card, some tea, dropped that. Some lip balm, very cool. We have a little sampler from DP with Sparklers. A hand sanitizer wipe. Um, Butterfly Kisses Customs. Not quite sure what they do. We have some hand and body lotion. Rose Profit Creations, Diamond Painting Shop, and more. Again, not quite sure what that shop is, but I will have to check it out. And then this is Socials. Looks like they go live on YouTube Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern and then just some other information. Very cool. I'm just gonna put that off to the side over here. I'm going to eat this because I can feel my throat is like about to seize up on me. So hopefully that doesn't irritate you. We also have a lollipop, a latte candy, and a little nail file. All right, let's get into what I ordered. Bubble wrap. I feel like this I just feel like there's a lot of packaging, but it looks right. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I got another tray. Oh my gosh. Very cool. You just know you're going to love it. Oh, we just know. <laughs> Cute. So I got one of their little 3D printed trays. Very cool. In white. We love that. That'll be very useful with um, special drills. All right, let's get into these because I am very excited. 
to give these all a sniff. I love the containers that these come in. Open, let me in. This is gonna be a long video. I wonder if I should break it into two. Should I break it into two? I think these are directions. Sens if you're sensitive to perfume, do not open or use. Okay, so we have a little candy. And this is Sticky Face Putty. Look at the, I don't know, I just love, ooh, that smells good. I love the little toppers on their jars. I don't know, it just gets me every time. I need to try to keep, oh my gosh, it's a frog. I need to try to keep um, my work area clean because I have a lot to share with you guys. It's a little frog keychain. That's so cute. I will probably pass that on to my youngest niece. She'll probably get a kick out of that. How cute is that? So this is something frog related. I remember purchasing this one because you guys know I'm over the top. We have a little Kermit. But I was like, oh my gosh, when I work on Tiana from Mandy Manzano, I could definitely use this because it's a frog. <laughs> Ooh, that smells good. This is frog farts. Very cool. I just think their containers are so cute. And I do, I do really enjoy the putty itself. All right, I need to move it along. I'm just gonna cut through. Next up we have We have a little kitty sticker. And this one is blue cotton candy. Now, I feel like I might have this particular one, but the container was different. So I was like, no, I don't have this. Do I? I don't know. If I do, you'll probably see this pop up in a giveaway, but this is blue cotton candy. And then, we have, let me in. I love the packaging, but when you're filming a video like this, it's like, I'm taking too long to get into this. We have a little dragon sticker because this one is dragon's breath. Look at the... <laughs> Ooh, that one smells good. It kind of, please don't take this the wrong way if the owner of Nix's Notions is watching this, this. But it kind of reminds me of a scent that I would have smelt in like my grandmother's house. And I love that. So please don't take that the wrong way. It just smells like something, I don't know. It smells very good, I like it. <laughs> Last one. Oh, this is one of their fancy ones. I have not purchased one of these because these ones are a bit more um, than the standard ones. But this scent was calling my name. Oh, it comes with a little scoop or two. Got a little scoop. This is Valley of the Sands. Look at this container. Like, it looks like it should be a lipstick or something. Oh my goodness. Why does that smell so good? I absolutely love that. Look, it has a little, <laughs> little stopper. This looks so fancy. I love that. Wow, I have so many beachy themed kits coming up um, over the next few months that that one will definitely get some use. Very cool. Um, definitely, I recommend giving the putty from Nix's Notions a try. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> All right, well, let me make a little bit of room. This office is going to be a literal disaster by the time I get done with this video, but that's okay. 
All right, what do we want to look at next? What do you say? Well, let's look at some cover reminders as I throw the package. <laughs> this is a package from Brie over at Painting with Pitties. She just opened an Etsy shop where she makes clay minders. She also has some resin pieces. Um, I am filming this a little bit in advance from when you guys will see it. So I don't quite know Bree's schedule, um, but she is or has already had, depending on when you guys see this, uh, knee surgery. So she had closed her shop temporarily. So if you head over there um, and it's closed, go ahead and favorite her shop and check back in a little while. She may be uh, temporarily closed, but I purchased four cover minders because I'm crazy. Really just because she has the cutest, <laughs> the cutest little things. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. She has a little peep and a carrot. How freaking cute. I don't know if these will be available when she reopens because Easter will have passed, but we shall see. This is, I did not order this free. I told you to stop giving me freebies. <laughs> I didn't order this, right? I don't think this was available. Where's my invoice? I did not order this, but it's perfect. It's a little cat, a yellow cat. How cute is that? This is resin. These first two here are made out of clay, but this one here is resin. I love it. So cute. Thank you, Bree. And then we have, oh, I'm excited. This one is also resin and it is part of her Zodiac series. I am a Sagittarius. So I picked that one up. Sagittarius the Archer. I have the kit from J Wall from Diamond Art Club, and I think the colors in this one will match that perfectly whenever I get to it. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous to do a J Wall, so I don't know if it'll be anytime soon, but. And the last one is a little toe bean, a little cat paw or dog paw, depending. Um, they had some really fun colors. Brie has some really fun colors, but I went for the gray because if you know, we lost our gray kitty in October and I love just having little things that make me think of him. So when I saw the gray, I was like, obviously I need that one, but she had some really fun colors as well. So those are my minders from Brie. Like I said, I will leave her shop down below. If her shop is closed when you head over there, it's because she is taking a short break. Uh, go ahead and favorite her shop and she will be back eventually. All right, next up, what do we wanna go for next? Um, what is this? Okay, let's do this package. Now this, I believe, yes, is an order from Crafty Creations by Ellie. And, oh, I think, okay, that's a bummer. Um, when I placed my first order, I thought I had added something on, but I didn't. And I emailed her because my order hadn't shipped yet and she was more than happy to add it on, but there must've been a little bit of a miscommunication between the two of us because I ordered I wanted one of her funnels, just like the regular funnels for the containers. And it looks like I got a funnel lid, which isn't what I wanted, but um, that's okay. I will just place an order for that other funnel. I'll add it on with my next purchase. But let's, let's look at these because there's a lot of fun things going on here. It looks like they are hosting an event. Let's see. Please join us. Crafty Creations by Ellie is hosting a diamond painting event June 1st through August 31st. Facebook is 500 Drills of Summer Diamond Painting Event. So I will have to check that out. I don't often do Facebook events, but I will definitely check that out. We have a Jolly Rancher. All right. What do we 
have here? Ooh, a stopper. All right, so these are gonna go here, and these are gonna go here. We're gonna look at these two first. So way back in 2022, I had shared Ellie's shop, and they were the first shop that I had I had personally seen that did the two-sided trays. You know what? Let me go grab mine. Hold on one second. Okay, so I had shared their two-sided trays way back in 2022, and I had mentioned in a video that while I enjoyed them, I found them hard to work with because I'm personally used to shaking my trays like this but because of the ways the way that the lines are printed, I had to shake it like this and I have very small hands and it just wasn't working for me <laughs> personally. So while I enjoyed the idea, it just didn't work very well for me personally in execution. And in one of those videos, Ellie had actually commented and said that they were working on a new version and the new version is here. So it is double-sided, you can use two different colors but the way that the lines are printed, you can now shake it like this and they will line up. So very excited. The spouts are on either end, which is cool. I like that idea as well. I would probably like cover this side and I would empty this side first and then I would empty this side. I don't very often work with multiple colors at a time, but I feel like two is feasible and that I would enjoy using that. So I picked one up in yellow and I also picked one up in purple. It's really pretty light purple. It's showing up a little bit darker on camera, but very cool. I'm excited, very excited to work with these. I think I will enjoy this system much better. I think it'll work much better for me personally. All right. And then these items are somewhat new to the market. I think I've seen one other shop at the time of purchasing that had come up with something similar to this. And I had seen Ellie's version on her, um, ooh, on her Etsy shop. And then I saw Hannah from Sparkling Spectrum. I actually ordered one. She posted a picture on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh give me all of your thoughts. Like, how does it work? What do you think? And um, she also did a video. I'll link Hannah's channel down below. And I was super, super intrigued. So this is a multi-placing tray. And what I find very interesting about Ellie's is you can see that the spots get larger. So let's grab some drills. because I am very curious of how this will work. So it looks like we have some that collected two, we have three, we have four. Uh, it looks like we have five down here. This actually laid out really well. That is so intriguing to me. I'm very, in I'm very interested to see how this is gonna work. So I picked up a few. I thought uh, potentially I could use one for a future giveaway. I'm trying to do more giveaways on my channel. And so I got one in black and one in green. At the time I ordered, these were the only ones that she had in stock. She's actually sold out, I wanna say like three times now of these particular trays, so. Uh, definitely check them out if you're interested. But the thing that I find very, very interesting are these lids. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have not seen these elsewhere. That's not saying that they don't exist, but I personally have not seen them. So I got one to match each tray. And then this is kind of where the confusion, like our miscommunication came in. I wanted one of her funnels. I don't know how to describe them. But if you're using like the Tic Tac containers, you stick the one end in and then you can pour your drills in. That's what I had wanted, but I ended up receiving a funnel lid in the matte white, which is fine, not a big deal. Um, I will definitely include that in a giveaway or with one of the trays or something that I have. But I'm so interested to see how this works. So what you do is you use it just as your other lid. Okay, I'm 
so intrigued. Oh, I should leave the stopper in. Don't be stupid, Laura. <laughs> okay, here we go. I can see them in there. Let me actually take this off so we're not bumping around. I think I'm gonna try to get them to one area. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh my God, it's actually working. <laughs> not that I didn't think it wouldn't work, but it is actually working. Just not quite sure how well at this point. Let's take a look at what we've got. All right, so it looks like we're kind of collecting in a corner, so they're not really getting to the funnel itself. I feel like if the funnel was maybe off to a side rather than straight in the middle, because I feel like I'm not getting I don't know. They're just not necessarily pulling in the middle there, but I did have quite a few drills in there. So I definitely got some of them. I don't know if I love the lid. I will definitely have to mess around with it some more. I will say that these drills have been a little bit staticky, so that could definitely be lending to some of the issue, but we'll see. I'll have to play around with this a bit more. Um, but the tray itself, very intrigued by that. I cannot wait to um, to work with one of these multi-placing trays. I think it will be a lot of fun. So those are the trays and lids from Crafty Creations by Ellie. I will link their shop down below as well. I'm trying to keep myself somewhat organized. All right, trays, check. What's next? I know, I still have packages, guys. We're, we're, we're plugging along. Um, let's do some Butterfly Effect Wares. So I placed two purchases with Butterfly Effect Wares. Um, one of them was just for some of their putty. I was very interested in trying some of their putty. And then one of them was for a pen. Of course, I purchased this pen and then the following week, I want that pen as well. All right. I'm just opening this so I can hide my address. And we have a couple here. I have tried. I have opened this putty. I have tried one of them. Um, so I'll give you my thoughts on that in a second. What do we have? What do we have? Ooh, Werther's. Can I eat this too? All right. So for the first order, I just picked up two of their putties. I got the Southern Peach. This smells absolutely divine. If you love peach scent, try this one. It's amazing. And then I got the Peacock Dot Dot Putty. I've not smelled this one yet. Ooh, I love the colors though. Look at that. Ooh, that smells good. The one thing I wish that more putty companies would do is like give you the notes of the putty that you're buying because I don't know off the top of my head. I can confirm the Southern Peach smells absolutely divine. And then I bought a pen. Now, this is not my typical purchase from Butterfly Effect Wears, this small size, but Brie over at Painting with Pities loves the mini size from Butterfly Effect. So here I am. Ooh. That is so pretty. This is the black opal, I want to say. Pretty. Oh, geez. Drop it. <laughs> Take it out of the package and drop it. That's so pretty. It is quite small. Is this a size that you get, Brie, the mini, or do you get the mega mini? I don't know. I get so stressed when I decide, when I have it in my mind that I'm getting a pen from Butterfly Effect Wears, I, like, completely black out during the process because if you're not quick enough you just not get anything so uh I very quickly made my purchase I did not pick tips uh, I like that you can ask for no tips because I will put my own but isn't that so pretty it's been a while since I've ordered a pen from them so very pretty love that one and then I did pick up the corresponding putty for that one and then I picked up a couple other scents that they had because I'm crazy. So this is the black opal. 
Ooh, that's neat. Ooh, that smells good. I love it. And then, why do I, why am I like this? We have the Ethereal Butterfly. This was a pen that dropped the week before and it was absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, I love that one. It's just, it smells so fresh. And then I also picked up the grape soda because I cannot be tamed. I love the colors that they do. Look at that. So pretty. Interesting. I don't know if I get grape soda vibes. Do I? I don't know that I get grape soda vibes. I don't mind it. But it doesn't smell like grape soda to me personally. But I also just smell a whole bunch of other stuff. So my nose could be working improperly. It still smells good though. So that is Butterfly Effect Wears. <laughs> we still have a few more packages to go. So let's do it. What do we want to do next? Let's do some more minders. Okay. I placed an order from Galloway's Gallery. And I have not ordered from them since, I want to say November of 2022. I placed a pretty big order during a sale that they were having. And for some reason, I was like, I need some minders. Do you guys want to know a fun fact? My two minder boards are completely full. I have nowhere to put another cover minder. So basically, how dare I? But now I need to reorganize so I can fit all of these and breeze um but galleries gallery is one of my favorite minder shops they just have such adorable um they have adorable minders but they also have such a wide variety and i love how they package i love these little um sleeves that they package in where's my knife all right i don't even remember what i ordered Let me in. Please. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dang it, I messed it up. Oh, another Easter item. <laughs> All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Here we go. You go there. You go there. All right, we did it. We won. Success. All right, here we go. I love how these are displayed as well. <sighs> Look at how pretty these are. So we have a little seashell. This was a little freebie. Cute. I thought this would go with some of the kits I have coming up in the summer. Also, there's a mermaid kit from Diamond Art Club and Sarah Mustafa that I thought the vibe was like perfect for that one. We have some little witchy books. We have a bunny butt. <laughs> We have a pair of otters. You guys know I love my otters, as you can see. I thought this book was really cute. I loved this floral moon. We have two more otters. I saw them and I was like, yep, those are coming home to me. Um, we have a little house on the prairie cover minder. <laughs> I have not talked about this on my channel, but when I do my book area tour with you guys, you will see that I do have a little house on the prairie collection uh, when I was younger. My grandmother always, for each occasion or holiday or whatever, purchased me a Little House on the Prairie book. Obviously, the author's name is Laura Ingalls Wilder, so she would write in the cover of all of them, and um, one of them that I keep out says, like, to my Laura, who makes Laura a reality or something like that. So I saw this one, and I was like, gonna need that one. Uh, this is me. If I'm not diamond painting, I'm reading. Thought this was really cute, just nice and springy for some kits I have coming up. I loved this little lighthouse and then just some really pretty floral options. So cover minders galore. Love them. All right, what do I want to do next? I think I want to save DP with sparklers for last. So I have two orders to share with you guys from Cat Proof Diamond Trees. <laughs> yes, I said two. Um, because I'm crazy. I have no shame in saying that they have become probably my favorite tray shop. <laughs> um, they release every Wednesday 
I believe at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That could be incorrect, but that seems to be when I notice uh, that they have restocked. And I picked up trees two weeks in a row because I'm crazy. And I did not pick any up this week, so I'm proud of myself. However, I did bust into this package because I've been using this tray on my current project, but that's okay. Let's get into this. An invoice. We have our little freebie. That's so pretty. Look at the little daisy cover minder. And then you always get one of these little squishies, which I save for my nieces. All right, this one is the Grape Jelly Translucent Purple Glitter in Long Boy. I picked up one of their Long Boy trays a couple of months ago and I really enjoyed using it. So I wanted to get a couple more. And this color is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. They do come with a lid. My lid just is not on that one. We have a little thank you card. I love their little cards with some stickers. Uh, this one here is, I'm dropping everything. And this one is Luck of the Irish Green. Oh, I'm remembering. I did not order two weeks in a row. What actually happened was I placed an order and then I got a message from them saying that they oversold one of their color colors. They ran out of um, filament for one of them. So unfortunately, this came after St. Patrick's Day, but it's still a really pretty green. And this is in the large fine boy. Sorry about that. I had to cut abruptly because I was, I've been talking for too long. I was hacking up along. <laughs> and then this one is another long boy and this is in the orange marmalade quantum so it's like orange and yellow <coughs> excuse me so pretty love that so that's one order i'm shaking my head at myself <laughs> and then let me not show my address And then here is another order. Oh, I forgot I got this tray color. It's so pretty. We have another little card. Some more stickers. And our little freebie. Look at the cute little minder. She's so cute. All right, so in the medium lean boy, I got this neon green. <coughs> Isn't that? Oh, it's so bright in person. I think the camera is kind of color correcting it a little bit, but in person, this is so freaking neon. I love it. And then we have the Quantum Raspberry. This is in the Large Fine Boy. I think I have this colorway in a different size. I'll have to go back and check, but I love this colorway, the blue to the like magenta, so cool. And then the last one is the Mocha Ombre. I don't have any brown trays, which I feel like is such a strange thing to say, like why would you need a brown tray? But there will come a time where I'm going to be grateful that I have this color. Probably when I'm working on a landscape or something. But I love it. It's kind of like a copper. Less of a brown, more of a copper, if you can see in that gradient there. All right, so last trays. And then we have one more package. And it is from DP with Sparklers. I have not purchased from DP with Sparklers. First of all, look at this mailer. I've never received a mailer of this size. I have not purchased from DP with Sparklers in months. And when I went through and planned, oh shoot, I think I just cut through something. Shit. When I went through and planned my kits, I knew that there was some ABs that I would need. Now I'm remembering why this package is so large. Um, I knew that there would be some ABs that I would need for kits that I would be working on. So I just decided to place a little sneaky little order. 
And the first thing I purchased, which is why the package was so large, are these DMC labels in both round and square. Now I have shared, I have shared, I had shared um, some labels from a different company and I had said it would be so great if they came in square so we could label our rounds and squares with the same labels but in the, per the correct shape. So look at this, we have that <coughs> from DP with Sparklers. I will be revamping my spare drill storage. So I decided to pick these up so I would have them when it was when it was time, when I was ready to take on that project. Um, I actually kind of wish I had picked up another set for my special drills, but that's okay. I don't need to be going so crazy. <laughs> so you have all of your DMCs in the round labels and in the square labels. These are great and they were very affordable. I can't remember exactly how much they were, but I was kind of expecting them to be more. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. Let's get into the fun stuff though. Which are the special drills. Take my packing slip out. Ooh, I wonder if my packing slip says how much those were. It does not, unfortunately. All right, we have a little freebie of some purple wax. I don't know if I've ever tried purple wax. Oh, I love special drills. All right, so uh, for ABs, I picked up a bag of around 318s. I'm using 318 AB on my current project, and I knew that I would go through quite a few, so I decided to just grab a bag so I could replenish my stash. I picked up four bags of 3865. I use 3865 AB very, very often. I had picked up three bags in my last order, a few orders, or a few months ago, and I'm on that last bag, so I decided to pick up some more. I'll be working on a kit later this month where I plan to replace all of the 3865 with AB, so I figured four bags would allow me plenty. I'll probably go through one and then I'll have three in my stash. And then I picked up some other goodies. These are all new and I am very excited to figure out how to use these. <laughs> so these are the bubbles. I saw these on Lindsay's channel from Lindsay's and from Lindsay's and Fairy Lights. No. <laughs> Lindsay's channel from Emeralds and Fairy Lights. Um, she had shared these in a DP with Sparklers haul and they just looked so stinking cool. Let me actually pour some of these out, specifically in this color because I'm very interested. All right. I hope the camera will pick these up. Oh, cool. Can you guys see that? These are so neat. So like the bottom is where the color is. And then it kind of looks like it's just a clear like dome, but it makes them look, they actually look like bubbles or like water drops. That is so cool. So this is in the col color river. And then I also picked them up in starfish splash and luna these are so neat i thought that these would look really cool in some kits that have water in them i i think i talked about this in my dye moon shop unboxing where i showed pastel seascape from amina ali I think that these would look so cool in that painting. And this color looks like it'll be perfect. I'm gonna have to go back and see what else they have. Super cool. And then I did pick up a few sparklers. So I picked up moss. These are like vacuum packed. It's kind of hard to get them turned around so you guys can see them once they're in there. But I'm not ready to open them just yet. It's kind of just a really cool 
green color. I am hoping, fingers crossed, to work on Simple Country from Chuck Pinson this month. And I thought that these might look cool in some of the greenery. I like adding sparklers to like trees and flowers. I just feel like it gives them more dimension. And then I picked up Butternut, which is just like a pale yellow. I always pick up the yellow. See, see same thing. Like I don't really need the yellow bubble ones, but they were yellow, so I got them. <laughs> and then I picked up the sparklers in Aurora Fall and Aurora Spring. <clears throat> I'm assuming they probably had a summer and winter. Um, I just realized that they were Aurora Fall and Spring. So I'll have to check that out. But these green ones, depending on the shades of green in that simple country kit, this might look really neat in there as well. Oh, we made it guys. <laughs> I feel like this is the longest small shop haul ever on my channel. But we had a little bit of everything, a very large collective haul of items. Definitely keep an eye out on the channel to see these things in action. Um, I'm looking forward to recording my thoughts on the Butterfly aware, Effect Wear dot dot putty. I have started using it so far so good. Make sure you check out Bree's channel, um, all of the other shops, Creations by LEP, Nix's Notions, Gallery's Gallery, DP with Sparklers, uh, Amanda Michelle designs for washi tape and trays from Catproof Diamond. I will have all of these small shops linked down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today and sticking in for this long video. Um, I will see you all in my next one. Bye!